There is one thing so offensive, I barely can bring myself to say it. Something which has given me so much pain, toil and trouble that I don't think I ought to let it roll off my lips. But unfortunately, for the purpose of this video, I imagine I'm going to have to. So with my fist clenched and my teeth partly gritted, this video is going to be about f Fortnite for me is an absolute travesty of an occurrence within the whole of human society and existence. It is a blemish on the record of history and it's horrible. Possibly the worst thing about this is that almost no one shares this opinion with me. I strive to find the shining needles in haystacks who, like me, dislike this awful game. I'm going to be going through why I dislike it so very much. I haven't written myself a script, which might make things more difficult for me, but the last time I wrote a script for something, it really didn't end well. So I'm going to try my best to remember all the things that I want to say, and here goes forth. What's bad about Fortnite? Other than everything. Well, firstly, it may have just been a conditioned response from the amount of times I've heard it in general internet culture, but even saying the word Fortnite makes me feel physically ill. Making this video will probably result in large volumes of vomit. And I'm not being ironic. I understand some people decide to pretend to hate something for ironic purposes because they don't actually hate it. I do hate Fortnite that much. I really do. I have a burning, passionate hatred for it, similar to the amount that I hate technology. But in defense of technology, hopefully this audio recording I'm doing now will actually go into a video, render properly, and you'll be able to hear it on YouTube. And that's something that technology has done for me correctly that Fortnite has never done. Fortnite is dull, derivative trash, and I do not understand for a moment why people like this game. There are so many better alternatives to it out there. Alternatives to it being even games that I myself hate as well. But anything, any damn thing is better than Fortnite. And it's now time to look at that. I can't imagine there's a single person alive who's lucky enough not to have heard of Fortnite. But nonetheless, I'm going to go over what it is so that we form a base of what we're going to be talking about. Fortnite is loads of people jump on this stupid flying bus, jump out of it, land somewhere on the ground, and get shot by someone else. Does it sound vaguely similar in concept to something else? Yeah, probably. PUBG. I gotta be honest, when I first heard of Fortnite, I thought, ah, that's a, that's a decent idea for a game. I bet that'll be fun. How wrong I could have possibly been, gone beyond all possible realms, of disappointment and anger at how actually awful the game is. I'm sure you've seen through YouTube ads or some other channel of media content the Fortnite ads. And you know what? I love the Fortnite ads. I gotta be honest. Although I hate saying the word Fortnite, the ads are very well made, well paced, well edited, well storyboarded, I guess. They are enjoyable to watch, and typically, I won't even skip one. Even though it's about Fortnite, the ads are really good. But you know what that does? It sets up a kind of false expectation of a good game behind all these adverts. And when you spent 24 years downloading 749,000 gig of file, what do you get? An unfettered sewer of utter awful game design. As for alternatives to Fortnite, I will be talking about that. But firstly, I want to think about the game that I play that is technically closest to a Battle Royale. Not a mini game, a game. And that is Overwatch. A game that I have parted money for, and I feel on and off about whether that was worth it. Depends if I'm being killed or not. And that's also a point I'll get back to. Overwatch is made by Snow game company that's made Card Jitsu from Club Penguin, Star Wars 2, and Dominoes 
three. I don't play any of those other ones, but I do play Overwatch. I purchased it in the one year anniversary. So I've been playing for a fair while, probably a lot less of a while than a lot of people who play, but it was like half price and can't say no to that. Overwatch, principally at least, involves you going out with five other people who hate your guts and you hate theirs. It's just sort of a mutual thing you'll have to accept. And then you try and kill another team of six people who also hate you. There's a strong sort of aura of hatred, but through different heroes and exciting ways of shooter shooting things, one team wins. Unless it's a draw. Despite the fact that I do often get killed, and believe me, I have gripes of Overwatch. Very, very many. But in an objective sense, the combat in Overwatch is sort of fair enough. A lot of the time, you'll shoot at someone and they will get shot. And you see that person. That person sees you. You have a bit of a fight. And bish bash bosh, one of you dies. As you can see, I'm hardly you know, like, Jake, but that's my basic understanding of Overwatch. Doesn't work well, but it works. Now, transfer this knowledge over to Fortnite, a very, very trashy, horrible game. How do you think the combat is in Fortnite? Well, that is an incredibly good question. I think it's what makes Fortnite so utterly trash. The combat within Fortnite goes as follows. Jump out of stupid bus thing. Float towards the ground. Run around looking for some kind of itemy thing. Get some weird strange weapon that you have no knowledge of how to use. Then get shot out of nowhere and die. Fortnite had a poster that they were putting around in the old adverts and that. And they have a tricolon motto thing. Strap line. And it goes build, battle, win. That isn't how Fortnite works. I'll tell you what build battle win applies better to. Minecraft UHC. Now, people have long compared Fortnite in an ironic way to Minecraft survival games. That's a terrible comparison. I don't know why people do that. And survival games isn't nearly as fun as UHC. UHC, ultra hardcore, you drop into a world, but not drop from a stupid bus, you just actually get started properly. Then you go around gathering materials in a more interesting way than clicking on circles on a tree, a rock, or a brick wall. Get better tools to mine with to vary the actual experience of it. Then you use the materials that you've got for yourself to make yourself better, stronger, to go into battle. And then you battle. In a UHC, it's highly unlikely that you're just gonna get, oh, I don't know, hmm, sniped. Here's the thing with Fortnite. You walk around a plain of hills and grass and maybe an occasional bridge and mountain over in the distance. And guess what? Suddenly, out of the blue, BAM! You were eliminated. You placed 97th. You never see anyone that kills you. This is possibly one of the most irritating things about this stupid game, is that unlike other well-structured games, you can just walk around and your game ends in a split second having not known any different or any danger was coming towards you. That's one of my gripes of Overwatch snipers. I don't believe in them. But other than snipers, where if you choose something with a lot of health, which you actually can do because there's choice, thank you, Overwatch, you can have stages to you being killed and you can actually react to what's happening and try and shoot them or escape. Fortnite? No, you're just dead. And that provides such an incredibly dull and trashy and boring playing experience because let me tell you about my experience of playing Fortnite because as much as I hate it, I made sure to play it. I'm not gonna blindly hate on something without playing it unless it's Roblox. Every time I played, be it with some other people or by myself, you wait a little bit, you go in your bus, you jump out the bus, you float down to the ground. Now you can either choose to float down to the ground somewhere where loads of other people will be, in which case you'll just get down there and get killed by someone who's magically flown down there faster than you, even though you were doing everything in your power to get down there quickly because, I don't know, balance. And then maybe instead you could fly down somewhere else, nice and far away. 
you gather yourself some materials, you walk in towards where the storm eye won't be, and then you just get shot by someone you can't see. When there isn't anybody else around, that just means someone is set up in some location that you can't see, and then you die. Your game is over. Either way, Fortnite goes as follows. Drop out of bus, hit ground, die. Drop out of bus, hit ground, walk around, die. Such an uninspiring, dull, trashy game. And I know a point that a lot of people are probably going to be making at this point is, Oh, well, you're just bad, aren't you? You have no right to speak about video games. Uh, I'm from the Cuphead community. Uh. I'm speaking from my perspective, the games that I've played. And I'm not going to take a dump on Overwatch in this respect, because although I am bad, relatively speaking, not as bad as David, though, I'm in silver. <laughs> For a certain part, Overwatch adapts to that and always allows you a sense of combat with other people that feels not just, but far more just than that in Fortnite. You can actually see what you're fighting and give it a go. And heaven forbid, sometimes you might actually kill someone, even if you're of no FPS ability. Fortnite, no chance. And this is a big point that even people who like Fortnite have agreed with me on. Fortnite has no kind of proper matchmaking system. Overwatch, although SR in its current state is an awfully conceived concept, has its skill rating system to put you against people who are similarly bad. Fortnite, none of that. You just get matched up with 99 random people who could be the best in the world every single time you play it. If you lose, 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 well guess what? Fortnite doesn't care about you, you're going to lose again. Because there is absolutely no system in place whatsoever to keep you playing with people who are more your ability level. You're just going to continue build, snipe, lose every single match. And it is depressing. This is bad game design on the level of Cuphead not letting you finish in simple mode because it's an elitist, stupid game that doesn't think that there are people who perhaps are less skilled than other people. Why should we value them? Oh, I don't know. We shouldn't. Who gives one? But even on that note, Cuphead is a better game than Fortnite. And I'll tell you why. Cuphead is an infuriating hellscape designed by irritating elitists. But at the very least, you can tell that the visuals and music of Cuphead have been crafted with love animated in the old style, this sort of beautiful, flowing and shaking sort of 20th century glory days of animation style that took so long to make. You can tell the love put into that. And as much as the gameplay of Cuphead is almost unrivaled in how bad it is. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not missed this. Bull Okay. Okay. Bullsh we got through. We're near the end now, I'm sure. Not gonna even bother trying to parry that. Parry system in this game does not work. There's just another baby dragon. This is like Clash Royale, but far worse. Oh no, that's fine. When will this thing end? No, I'm done. Screw you, Moldenhauer. I want my 15 quid back. The visuals of Cuphead are amazing. Fortnite looks terrible. I, I cannot stress how ridiculous it seemed to me that the game requires on mobile at least an iPhone 7, an iPad quite new generation, really new devices that, you know, not a lot of people are necessarily going to have, to be able to run their game. And when you go on it, it looks awful. The graphics are boring. The colours are quite bad, and it doesn't look high definition at all. There is nothing within the game that looks like it warrants any kind of massive file. And I know people, another argument is, you played in the mobile version. You haven't experienced proper Fortnite. That's why you don't like it. You're bad. Bad boy. No. I played computer Fortnite because I knew that that would be a point that would come up. Same thing. 7 billion gig file or whatever I said it was before that you had to download over the course of... 94 years, so you're on your deathbed, finally getting to play your game of Fortnite, and you drop down and think, why did it take up this much space? 
It looks awful. I would really love to know what's taken up all those gigs, not so epic games. I really would. It has puzzled me immensely. Now, I don't know about files and stuff in any kind of depth, but I'm pretty sure Cuphead, about the tenth the size of Fortnite, looks visually a lot more stunning and intensive than Fortnite does. I would really love to know what's taking up those gigs. Is it people's ignorance? Is it just a, a collection of people who think Fortnite is a good game? I mean, it has seriously got to a point where I am genuinely on the side of news reports condemning Fortnite as corrupting the youth. Now, we all know this is disingenuous rubbish, but I'm genuinely happy for the media to be doing this to Fortnite because it's such an awful game. Viva la media! Kill Fortnite, please, I beg you. Every day, I want a news report on how it is ruining lives, because it's most certainly ruined mine. Fortnite has absolutely no suspense within it whatsoever. The kind of build gets night to lose, or actually possibly more accurately, flounder through menus trying to find your upright stairs to the side, diagonal, unicorn, rainbow, slab of brick, iron, wood, don't care, mate. Trying to build that gets night lose every single game. In Minecraft, UHC, you have actual proper dangers, which, at least for me, scared the living daylights out of me. Mate. Oh! 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 Oh God! Ah! Mate! There's a witch! Ah! Minus 649, the witch is here! The witch is here, oh my god! Ah! No, I'm poisoned, mate! Mate, I'm poisoned! Ah! Ah! The witch has found me! Fortnite, what have you got? Oh, you've just got a boring and badly graphically realised landscape that you just get shot in. Great. Like, when I was playing Fortnite, to an extent, I enjoyed bantering around with David and his friends that we played in a squad with. But it just became boring after so many games of just dropping down, dying, dropping down, dying. We had someone who was good at Fortnite on our team and still we made no progress at all. We drop a scrubby shrub or, you know, whatever it's called, some far away forest and get a few materials and then walk in towards where the storm eye was set to be. Then after I reckon we got to the second storm eye stop at the very most, we get shot by someone we couldn't see. Flounder around on the ground, which is a pointless state anyway, because you can't get out of it, especially given all your other teammates are dead anyway. Then you die, and that was it. We just did another game. Rinse and repeat this utterly, deathly boring state of nature. It's awful. Take a shot every time Reggae says awful. And now I fear things can only get worse. I thought Fortnite would be cleared up by now. Some new game would come along and be valued as an actual decent game rather than this stupid hype that surrounds Fortnite. I personally know people who criticise Minecraft, you know, Clash Royale, all these kinds of games like that, sort of meme about them, take the mick out of them, and yet they play Fortnite. This sort of intense, ironic scumbaggery coming from someone who plays possibly the worst game in existence. Really, really gets me. Now, I, I'm all for positive human relations, so I don't really say anything. But still, it, it is incredibly disappointing to see how humanity has fallen down such a wretched rabbit hole as this. And now, Fortnite shows no sign of stopping at all. They've got seasons. I mean, you know, whatever. One saving grace of Fortnite is that it's free. Fair enough, I'll grant it that. Battle passes, I couldn't care less. If they want to make money out of people, fine. Doesn't stop you from playing the game. Although, to be honest, I wish it would. Then I wouldn't have wasted as much time as I did on it. But I wasn't enjoying playing it. So I guess I only played it for as long as it took to realise that I did truly hate it. But now, they're tying up with Avengers Infinity War, which was, you know, a good film. I just cannot believe that Marvel were willing to tie up with them on that. Fortnite. A huge stink bomb to the room of society. And I want to get out, even if no one else can smell the problem. I hope you've enjoyed my systematic stream of consciousness about my true hatred of Fortnite. I felt I wanted to get that out. I can't pretend that it's been well constructed, 
But as I said, the last time I wrote a script, it wasn't really valued anyway, so I just thought I'd moan about it. There's been plenty to talk about. I despise Fortnite. If you like Fortnite, you know, whatever. You like Fortnite. Freedom of expression. Freedom of opinion. I'm not gonna stop you liking Fortnite. I'm just gonna ask you, who are you? Anyway, I'm gonna go into hibernation now and wait until this wretched game is out of the public eye and there's something else to talk about. Do you remember when Doki Doki was in the public eye? That's a good game. Another episode of that coming soon. That wasn't in the public eye for very long. And now Fortnite has been here like an awful disease. I doubt this has brought in anyone from the larger Fortnite community. I'd love to think it would and people would hear out how much I hate the game and engage in a conversation about that. But I highly doubt it. It's probably just going to be people writing the word spoon because that's funny. Anyway, I'm going to be off. Save this audio file, make a video out of this mess, and I will see you later. But not on Fortnite, thank goodness. I hope you enjoyed.